Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I am in my uniform, which means that today's video is all about military friendly lock hairstyles. Um, I'm actually gonna get a little bit more comfortable. I just got off of work, so I'm gonna take off this top. I'll be right back and we'll get right into it. Okay, so like I said, today is all about military friendly hairstyles for locks. Um, as you can see, I kind of already have this little um, inverted two braid style going on. I've worn it all day today, so my edges are no longer laid down. Um, and to be honest, I barely lay them anymore. I get up at like five in the morning, leave out by six. I'm not worried about my edges as much as I used to be. Either way, so this is what I have going on. But I'm gonna show you guys as many styles as I can think of that I kind of run through um, throughout the week. And then we'll see what it comes up to at the end. Oh, my mirror is here. So I'm gonna be kind of looking at both just to make sure that I can get it right. Usually, the only thing I use in my hair is gonna be um, bobby pins. And if I do like a bun, then I'll do like, um, I'll use like these little, ponytails um i probably use like three plus two body pins so let's get started oh while i'm taking my braids down oh my gosh i got something super excited so i think i mentioned in my moisturizing lock video that i'm going to be um that i wanted to start like bottling up my own oils and like making it for sale well guess what your girl did i definitely Got my bottle, check out my label. I'll probably insert a picture just so to show up clearly. Um, but this block oil, this is my baby right now. I've been staying up every night just working on this and I'm so excited to put it out. So I've already kind of started like a little Instagram page and it's on my page too. So I'll insert like the names down below. Um, but I was thinking as I'm trying to grow my, uh, my YouTube, I'm also trying to like kind of get the word out about my oil. I was thinking that a great way that I could do that is um, put out a promotion. So if you are interested in my lock oil, um, which you should be, and it's also for natural hair, you don't have to be locked. Um, and you can probably use it even for relaxed hair, um, but I personally have only used it since I've been natural, which is why it's for natural hair, um, or why I say it's for natural hair. But if you're interested in my oil, then I will be doing a raffle. Um, in order to participate in the raffle, the only thing that I ask you to do is subscribe to my channel, comment below, done, and then also go follow the Elaine Essentials page. So that's going to be Elaine Essentials. And again, I'll put it down here. So subscribe, follow the page, and then that, and just comment done below, and that'll get your name in the raffle. I'm gonna be doing my first shipment of oils on August 3rd, so that's about two weeks from now. Um, and so probably around that day, I'll put it out on the Elaine Essentials page, which is why you have to follow. I'll put out who won the raffle. And maybe I'll even like do it like on live or something and show me like pulling the name out of the hat, I don't know. But either way, Elaine Essentials, check it out, style number one. Which is gonna be a simple bun. So. I personally kind of, again, move it. I change it around a lot, but we'll do a middle part bun. I already have my hair in the middle part. So for this style, I'll use, um, we'll probably go ahead and use at least two, maybe three of these little hair ties. And then I'll use these. So I actually, per, I do, I think like two or three different bun styles. So I'll show all three. Um, so this will be the first one. Um, again, middle part. I like my buns low because you have to be able to put your cover, like your head piece, your hat, we call them a cover, you have to be able to put it on, and so my bun has to be like lower than the hat, so. And obviously, if you're looking for this, you're in the military, you know that. But, anyway. I decided to just do a voiceover because otherwise this video would have been way too long, so that way I can speed everything up. So what I'm talking about is I just put one ponytail holder like on the ponytail and I didn't loop it around twice. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I actually should have on this one because as you can see the ponytail got really loose. But what I did with the bun was really just split the hair in the middle if you saw that. And then I just started wrapping it around itself. Um, 
and I do that very loosely for the most part because I don't like my hair to be super tight this bun is kind of big and I don't mind because the regs change but you can make it smaller by like wrapping it tighter as you can see it kind of just popped out because it was kind of loose um, I do like my buns to be presentable so even if they're not super tight they need to look put together so I do use like the pins and so even this bun that I did for the sake of this video was rushed and it's not as presentable as I will wear it to work. So I did just go ahead and add a picture at the end to show you how I would wear it to work. There it is. Um, and I just used like maybe two or three bobby pins to keep that tight. Um, so then here I'm really just talking about like my edges. They were looking kind of crazy. Um, and initially I wasn't going to do anything with them, but then I decided like, let me just go ahead and smooth them down because I'm not going to be doing a whole video with my edges looking crazy. So y'all can be talking about me. No, thank you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I did just want to go ahead and slick them down since I was going to be on camera. Um, what I used was just the same stuff that I use when I do my retwist. So just check out my retwist video if you want to know. And then I just put a little bit of um, Eagle Style Gel on top of that. Do a quick little like moisturize while I'm manipulating my hair so much. So my lady essentials. Just put a couple drops in. Okay. So this is lock style number two, which is going to be a deep part with um, a low bun. So as you can see, I'm just sectioning my hair, kind of getting my part right, however you want it. Um, and then I take my time and smooth it all to the back. Um, I try and keep this one really low because I think it's cuter the lower it is. Um, and as you can see, I learned my lesson from the first one. So I went ahead and wrapped it around twice. Um, then you're going to take about five or six locks and just section those off to the side. Um, next thing you're going to do is take another ponytail and you're just going to try and put a ponytail like on the very bottom. And this is just going to keep all your locks together. Um, and then you tuck that around and you're going to take one more ponytail um, and you're going to wrap it around everything. And actually you want to try and get those extra little locks around too. So once you do that, you're going to wrap those extra locks around the back just to cover your ponytail and then use the bobby pin to secure it. And don't worry, um, any little extra flyaways, you can just go ahead and tuck. So as you're going to see, I'm just kind of looking in my little hand mirror, kind of tip nipping and tucking where I need to. Um, and I mean, I really like this style actually. It's kind of elegant and it's really cute. So, and again, it usually looks a lot more put together when I take my time to do it. Let's see what style number three is. Okay, so style number three is, okay. So I'm doing my little ponytail with a cute little like pump in the front. I don't know what they call it, but I actually just recently tried this and I posted it on my Instagram and I got a lot of good feedback and I really liked it. Um, so what I did is just sectioned out the front of my hair and then I went ahead and put like a roll in the front. Um, and then I just hold on to that roll and then just pull everything else into the ponytail. Um, this ponytail doesn't have to be super low. I kind of liked it up in the middle and it actually looked cute as like a ponytail by itself. And technically we can wear ponytails in the Navy now, but I don't know. I just don't like pushing it because I already have locks. So I'm like, let me just go ahead and wrap it in a bun. Um, so then I just go ahead and section the hair off. Um, I, I do two separate sections and just roll those sections um, and I'll roll it around itself and I'll use a bobby pin to pin that and then I'm going to roll it to the other side and again don't worry about any like strayaways you can catch them all in the end. Um, the most important part is to just go ahead and get the roll um, bobby pin it and then take another little like hair tie and wrap it around it to, or wrap it around everything to secure it and honestly guys I really love this hairstyle I don't know I think that it's super cute but you do want to make sure your edges aren't pulled too tight so as you can see at some point I was just kind of like loosening up mine just to make sure it wasn't pulling too tight but really cute so next style, well, we'll take this down, um, but I looked ahead and the next style is going to be my cornrows. So I wear corn, I was wearing cornrows probably the most in the first and second year of my locks because I couldn't really fit them in a bun. So I do two different ways of cornrows and then I do two different styles with those. So as you can see, this one is kind of like the overhead like French braid. 
and I do it with the deep part and this one I like a lot but it's starting to get a lot thicker because my hair is growing so I don't know how much longer I'll personally be able to wear this style I do know though like if I did this while my hair was wet then my braid would be a lot tighter and kind of like a lot more flush with my hair um, so sometimes if I really want to do this style or if I wash my hair on a Sunday night and I don't feel like letting it dry, then I'll do this and it'll be really nice and tight and compact. Um, but either way, so I do I do one side, kind of braid it down, and then I do the other. Um, and then once you get the braids all the way down, then I just take like a two rubber bands and secure the ends of both. And then you really just play around with the placement of your ends. So you can either kind of do a little crisscross move like you'll see me do and you'll see me play around with it. But sometimes I, now that my hair is getting longer, I actually also go ahead and like put the ends of the braids into a bun in the back too. And I wear it that way. Um, so honestly, whatever's clever, whatever you like. But I do think that it gives it kind of like this elegant, cute look when you secure it in the back like this. But my hair is getting a lot longer. But either way, at the end, I'll show you, I think I'll post a picture when I'm in a uniform with my cover on um, to show you how it fits because it really, well, the picture is actually like a year ago and my hair is a lot longer. Um, but again, it does fit if you just get it braided tight enough. Um, so then the next like cornrow style that I'm going to show you is really just like a middle part cornrow. So once I'll take this out, I'll put my hair back in the middle part. Um, so what I'll do is I'm actually just going to show you, yeah, how was higher. So I'm actually just going to show you like the inverted corn roll on one side and then the regular French braid on the other side. I would never wear two separate corn rolls, like, you know, two different styles, but for the sake of time, because I knew the video was getting long, it's going to be the exact same thing if I did both French braids on one side or both inverted corn rolls on, you know, on the other side. Um, so I just showed you, I don't know, I hope that makes sense, but you'll see. Um, just for the sake of time, I just showed you both in one style, but I would never actually wear it like that out. And whenever I do these styles, especially the French braid, I try my best to get it as low to like the front of my hair and like my edges as possible because I just think it's a little bit cuter than when the braid kind of goes like kind of in the middle or the top of my head. But honestly, it's whatever's comfortable for you. So with this inverted corn roll, I tried my best to kind of show what I was doing, but I don't know how well that, you know, how well it, it turned out because I sped up the video. But if you guys would like, you know, kind of a specialized video on how I do this inverted corn roll, it would be super quick, but I don't mind doing that for you because I do realize I sped this up. Um, and I usually wear the inverted corn rolls more than the, the regular like French braid because I don't know, I just like it. I think it's cute. When I used to wear my hair in um, like braids all the time, I would always do this style and I just always loved it. It's, I don't know, it's like my thing. So either way, um, I would do the same thing, kind of crisscross to show you. So initially I was like, okay, that's all the styles, I'm done. But then I remember my last Old Faithful that I wear every once in a while. I really like it, but it's kind of hard to do sometimes or to get it right, like to make it cute. So what I'm doing is gonna be just one single inverted corn roll in the middle. Um, and it, it really is kind of, it takes practice to get it how you want it. But in the beginning, if you saw, like I was just really getting all my hair to the back, that was the easiest thing for me to do. And you have to play around with where you grab your first hair from. So you can either kind of like pull it off from the side, or if, as you can see for me, I started in the middle. Um, you have to play around with it. Like it really takes practice. Um, and even actually this one, I wasn't like a super huge fan of because I didn't like how it kind of angled down. I probably would have like took it out and started over so that the front of my hair didn't angle so far down. I would like it to angle more so in the middle. And you'll see what I'm talking about when you see the picture. Um, Cause usually I don't leave my house until I get it like picture perfect. The, as you'll see the picture in a second but once you get the braid done i literally just tuck mine under um, my hair isn't super long where i have to do anything to like make it stay it'll stay when i tuck it and this is how it looks when i get it right right here in the picture and this is how i love it 
Okay, so now that's it for the military lock styles. Um, in review, we did just kind of the standard military bun. We did the deep part um, low bun, or like, yeah, deep part low bun. We did the bun with a little like pump in the front for a little extra cuteness. Um, we did the inverted double braids. We did the regular French braid, either with the middle part or with like kind of the deep part, which I think is so cute. It kind of looks like the little halo braid. Um, and then we just did the single um, inverted French braid, which you could also do honestly a single French braid too, but I kind of don't like it. Um, so hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you try out these styles. Um, if so, comment below. Let other people know how they worked out for you. Don't forget, if you're interested in the Elaine Essentials natural oils, then go ahead and check out the at Elaine Essentials on Instagram. Um, and just follow the rules that I told you in the beginning and perhaps you could win a bottle. All right. Talk to you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.